believe from just tutorials and in this video we are going to learn about fractions let's discuss today's objectives reading and writing fractions half quarter three quarter some more fractions and then we will learn different meanings of fractions before starting the lesson let's have a warm-up question you can pause the video try this question and once you are done please resume the video to check your answer so from here you can check your answer that's how we shade three parts out of four parts pat your back for your good efforts and congratulations if you got it correct let's begin the lesson with fractions we can define fractions as a numerator over denominator the number at the top is numerator and then and the number at the bottom is called denominator so that's how we write any fraction let's take an example so here we have a fraction that is 3 over 5 so the numerator will be 3 and denominator will be 5 so that's how we write any fraction now let's learn more about numerator and denominator denominator tells the total number of parts a whole is being equally divided into as we can have a look to this shape this shape is divided into four equal parts which means the denominator will be four and numerator tells the number of parts being used out of total let's suppose if we need to write the fraction of the shaded part as we have one box colored shaded so numerator will be one and denominator will be four as we have in total four parts so fraction for shaded part is 1 over 4 that is a quarter and fraction for non shaded part is 3 over 4 because we have 3 non shaded parts our next topic is half here we have one whole and if we divide this one whole by a line into two equal parts that will be one half and that will be second half we write one half as one over two we can say that in total now we have two parts so two will be denominator and we are talking about this part only so one as numerator same will go for the second half now it's time to learn quarter as in half we divide the shape into two equal parts in quarters we divide the shape or any object into four equal parts so suppose that it's a pizza a whole pizza and we have made four equal slices out of it or we have divided the pizza into four equal slices so one piece will be one quarter which means one out of four parts so we read it as one quarter one fourth or one upon four now three quarters at it says three quarters which means if we taking three one quarters at a time which means that will be equals to three quarters here we have divided one whole into four equal parts each part denotes one quarter and we are taking three at a time so that will be three quarters and we write it as three over four and we can divide a bar into n number of equal parts like here we have divided this bar into five equal parts so each part will be one over five five denotes that we have five equal parts and one represents only this box now here if we are taking three parts together so that will be three fifths because we are taking three fifths together now let's learn some different meanings or different ways of writing fractions here Ari was given three chocolate bars of equal sizes that he wanted to divide among his four friends each chocolate bar has four equal parts in it so he decided to give one part of this chocolate bar to Aryan one part to Ayan, one part to Anuj and one part to Anna. Same he did with the other two bars. Now let's see the share of each friend. Aaron has got one quarter 
of the first bar, one quarter of the second bar, one quarter of the third bar. And the share of other friends are also same. Which means that each friend was given a three times. Now let's have a look to the total share of each friend. We have one quarter at one quarter at one quarter. And as we know that if we take three one quarters at a time, that will be equal to three quarters. And these three quarters will be of one bar. Now it represents that we can explain three quarters in these three different ways. Three parts out of four equal parts of any object. One quarter thrice or one quarter multiplied by three. So that's how we write any fraction as using multiplication. As we are repeating one quarter three times, so we are timesing it by three. And one quarter add one quarter add one quarter. Here we are using addition. So that's how we write any fraction using addition. And it is also same as equal division of three objects among four persons. Right, so it's practice time. You can use your previous knowledge to write the fraction as addition and multiplication. For that, you pause the video, try these questions. And once you are done, please resume the video to check your answers. Alright, you can check your answers from here. Back to back for your amazing efforts and congratulations if you have got it correct. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please visit justtutors.com.